If you guys couldn't tell before, <laughs> you should tell by now that I'm actually starting to get obsessed with these mushrooms. There we go. We finally have a dock over here. And of course, our boat is going to be here every single time. Oh, man. This is the absolute best thing ever. I love it. Whoa. What the? Where is this one taking me to? Wait a minute. What is this? Hello everybody and welcome back to some more shenanigans of Sneaky Sasquatch. My name is of course Constantine and it is a brand new day over here and I think in today's episode I'm gonna try to focus a little bit on trying to open up this place a little bit and uh, maybe doing also the mystery project why not because uh, getting those woods in order to build this it's not gonna be that difficult and if you guys missed the previous episode we actually managed to deliver some of the mushrooms to the mushroom hunter in return we got some dynamite or as he likes to call them candles <laughs> And we're definitely going to now be able to blow up a few places around here, making it a little bit easier to go around. So, first thing first, let me just go ahead and give this guy one of the dynamites. Hey, pal, could you help out here? I got a job to do, but I'm missing some dynamite. Wait, is, is that a stick of dynamite in your backpack or a scented candle of some kind? <laughs> definitely a dynamite, buddy. Can I uh, borrow it for a second? What do we borrow it? You're going to use it. Of course you can. Thanks, buddy. Stand back and watch a professional work. <laughs> oh my god, I love how he actually jumped on it. There we go. Finally. Shazam. Oh no, I, I guess the diamond I got used up when I uh, exploded it. <laughs> you learn something new every day in the demolition business. Whoops, uh, thanks for letting me borrow it. <laughs> oh my god, these guys are so funny. And is this now going to allow me to go back to my house, to the campground? It is! Oh my god, this is the best thing ever! And now we're going to be able to go back and forth from our house to the river. That is so freaking good. I love it. Alright, well, now that we know that that is done, uh, you know what I want to do. I think I think I want to make my way... Um, yeah, I'm definitely going to have to go to the racetrack to get myself my vehicle so let me go ahead and do just that we have to go ahead and get ourselves a little bit of uh, wood of course all right there we go let me jump straight into my truck over here wait this is not a monster truck anymore did i change this oh never mind i changed the the 4x4 to be a monster truck i get it, i get it that's okay this is good enough I still love the way this one looks. And let's not forget, guys, if you do see mushrooms around, anytime you see mushrooms around, just go ahead and pick them up. Mushrooms are such a great source of income in this game. Uh, this latest update has been insane, and I was not expecting to be able to make so much money collecting mushrooms. Now, I'm not 100% sure if uh, this is going to keep on uh, being here. Maybe the devs will realize that we're making too much money selling these mushrooms. So, uh, go ahead and collect as many mushrooms as we can before another update will come. And uh, it will change the amount of coins we're getting for each one of these mushrooms. But let me tell you guys, this, foraging mushrooms, definitely the way to go. You absolutely want to do this every single time. Alright, so, as I was saying, let me make my way to the sawmill. As we're doing this one and grabbing some wood from there, I'm also going to keep on looking for those mushrooms that we really want to find on there. Uh, because we know for sure that there are some mushrooms that are going to spawn in at the uh, sawmill here, but I haven't managed to find them just yet. Oh, look at this. We got these ones. Uh, the thing is, we already found these ones, but at least now we know where they also spawn in, and these ones as well. Alright, there we go. Thank you very much. Let's keep on going. Uh, next up, I see some more mushrooms in thi on this tree trunk. Perfect. Thank you very much. Uh, let me also check on the left side here. Maybe there are going to be some mushrooms on this side. And the answer is no. Alright, that's fine. Uh, I don't know if I have any more trash food. Although, I will try. Nope, no more trash food. Never mind. That's fine. We don't need to do this strategy anymore, apparently, because gathering mushrooms is currently the best strategy ever in the game to get money. Alright, now this one, unfortunately, is going to give me only one stack of wood, but I think I need just a little bit more, though. Yeah, this is definitely not going to be enough. I'm going to have to come back here. And while we're at it, let me also go ahead and look up for a little bit more 
of these mushrooms. There we go. I don't see anything on the right side there. And unfortunately, I don't think there's going to be anything at the top here either. Yeah. Alright, anyway, I'm still going to make my way uh, at the back of the sawmill just because there might be some of these mushrooms hiding behind the uh, building. Let's just check it out. And I'm saying this because in the previous episode, we actually managed to find some of these mushrooms hiding exactly behind the building. And unfortunately, we are not that lucky anymore. Alright, anyway, in that case, let me just keep on going here. Now, I think the next area that we're going to be able to blow up, and uh, the one that I really want to blow up, is definitely going to be the area uh, that's going to give it us to the Mushroom Hunter. Just because that's going to allow us to get to him much faster, rather than just going around and around uh, in the forest. Alright, so let me just go ahead and deliver this wood back home. And hopefully very soon we're going to be able to build up the Mystery Project. Oh man, I'm so excited for that. So excited for that one. Oh, you know what? I think I completely forgot to dress up as a ranger. <laughs> That's why these guys are wanting to uh, chase me now. Take it. Hold up. Let me go ahead and do just that so that I'm not going to get caught anytime soon. And the reason I went through this side instead of the other way around, just because I want to keep on looking for more mushrooms, I guess. I think uh, mushrooms are going to be my uh, favorite new things to do in the game. <laughs> We're going to get so much cash here, it's going to be crazy. Alright, unfortunately no mushrooms on this area. Uh, and I'm definitely going to have to do a little bit of a pit stop here and there, just to try to collect more foods. As uh, I don't think we have any more in our uh, backpack. And Sasquatch is going to get hungry very soon. Alright, and we're back. Now, I don't see any more mushrooms around, but that's fine. All I want to do right now is just deliver the wood on this side. There we go, look at that. And of course, we do need just a little bit more in order to finish adding uh, all of it. Uh, so that we can start building our thing. But first of all, I think I'm going to get some sleep, reset the day. And hopefully when we come back in the next one, uh, not only that we're going to reset the day, but also maybe we're going to get some new mushrooms. Let's just see. Alright, good morning everybody. We have a brand new day here. Let me just uh, get everything going. Uh, get a little bit of food in me, just to get ourselves started. And since we're also going to make our way to the sawmill, I think I'm going to also put these uh, fishes in the trash, just to try to sell them to the bear, and uh, why not get some extra coins. Ah, look at this, we can actually see the TNT in the backpack there. So we do have two more sticks, which means we are going to be able to blow up two more locations. And I most definitely want to do that. And I think I know exactly which locations I want to blow up. Uh, as I was saying, there's going to be the location that uh, it's going to allow us to get really easily. Oh, hold up. I just saw some mushrooms over here. It's going to allow us to get really easily to the uh, mushroom forager. So let's just grab these ones. There we go. And I think that's going to be it, because next up, I am going to make my way back at the sawmill to get myself some more wood. Now, I think this round, I'm not only going to grab the wood, I think I'm going to also make my way to the mountain a little bit, uh, just to try to look for some mushrooms while we're at it. Uh, man, I'm going to start to be very obsessed with these mushrooms. Let me tell you. These prices are absolutely insane. And I really hope they're going to be... Uh, I really hope they're going to be here for longer, just so that we can start getting ourselves a lot of coins in the game. Alright, do we have any more wood? Let's see. And we definitely do. Look at that. Now, I think I'm just going to grab the uh, biggest stack, just because why not. Alright, and as I also made my way over here, let me also keep on looking around for more mushrooms. And I'm also going to go ahead and, of course, sell the, the trash food that we have to the bear. Alright, look at that. I just noticed some mushrooms over here. But I think we already delivered these ones. These are these ones are the porcini uh, mushrooms. Yeah, I'm kind of 100% sure I've already delivered these ones. Alright, and any mushrooms all the way to the left side here on the corner? I mean, I would have definitely expected the mushrooms to spawn in here. Like some really awesome cool ones, but it doesn't look like it. Alright, anyway, in that case, let me just sell the food to the bear, get some extra money, go and get me also- Ooh, look at that! Mushrooms! <laughs> 
And uh, also get me the uh, golden fish. Why not? All right, buddy. Thank you very much. Man, we got so much coin now. I love it. It is so much easier to get money now with this little strategy. That is insane. Alright, so as I was saying, before I'm going to make my way to build up the new mystery project, let me also keep on looking for more mushrooms around. And also, get ourselves a golden fish. Dude, just keep the distance. Why is this guy driving so close to me? I hate it when people are actually driving so close to you in real life. They're just the worst. Alright, there we go. Now, do we have any mushrooms over here? Oh, we do. Look at that. And these ones are... Ah, the blue ones. We already have these ones. Never mind. I really hope that that's going to be a new type of uh, mushroom. Alright, anyway. In that case, uh, let me keep on going. And I think I'm just going to start making my way to... Back home. Start working on the mystery project. Alright, and before we make our way back home, look at what I just found here. Oh, there we go. These are the mushrooms that we're looking for. The winter chandeliers. Oh, man. These ones uh, took quite a while to find. But we finally got them. All right. Now I'm ready to go back home. <laughs> now I'm really happy that we found them. We're not going to be... Uh, we're not going to have to look for any more uh, mushrooms in the wintery area. That is so cool. All right. There we go. And we're back in town. Now, before we uh, go straight through the area to get to our location... I still want to keep on going and taking a quick detour through here just because I'm really hoping I can find even more mushrooms. If you guys couldn't tell before, <laughs> you should tell by now that I'm actually starting to get obsessed with these mushrooms. And while we're at it, you know what? Let me make my way to the top here because we know that there's going to be some mushrooms close to an apple tree. And the only apple tree that I know in the game is this one right here. I mean, maybe there is another one somewhere else, and I don't know about it, but... Yeah, this is the apple tree that I know. And I know for sure that I haven't found the mushroom that I'm looking for over there. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have any food, so you know what? Let's see if we can find something over here that we can eat. The heck? Can I open this up? There we go. And we did find just a little bit of food. Now, I know that that was a s'more, but uh, you know what? I don't even care about s'mores anymore. Mushrooms are the way to go now. And let's get out of here. Actually, hold up. Are these going to be maybe golden fishies? I don't think so, though. Yeah, definitely not golden fishies. What about back here? Any chance of getting some mushrooms? <gasps> Look at that! We just found these mushrooms that we... Actually, never mind. I think we already found these ones. Yeah, we definitely found these ones before. That's fine. They're gonna give me extra cash, so I'm not gonna say no to extra mushrooms. Every time I'm gonna see some mushrooms, I'm gonna stop from what I'm doing and I'm trying to collect them. Every single time. Alright buddy, let me keep on driving then. Now I know this is not safe driving uh, through the campground with a truck like that, but that's fine. That's fine. I'm gonna try not to run everybody over. Ooh, where are these mushrooms here? Huh. The fairy ring mushrooms. I don't think we had these before. So look at that. Good thing. We came over here to check them out. I'm starting to think that we're going to be able to find so many mushrooms in the game here as we're going through the campground. Yeah, I think we're all good on mushrooms. So let me just uh, get rid of all this wood over here, just like that. There we go. And let's have a chat with the duck. Let's get building, buddy. So, of course, I want to get the river dock going. All right, then. Let's get to work. There we go, we finally have a dock over here, and of course our boat is going to be here every single time. 
Oh man, this is the absolute best thing ever. I love it. Uh, hold up. You know what? I really want to catch me this small fish. I want to see what type of fish this is. Oh, did it just disappear? Nope, it did not. If this is going to be the sea cucumber, I'm going to scream. <laughs> nah, it's not. It's just a minnow. Oh man. Seriously now? What a great day to be out of the water. Pop some coins in my beak and I'll fetch you any of your boats. Which one will it be? Uh, no, buddy. I'm good. I'm good. I definitely want to give you 50 coins. That's fine. Uh, we are still not rich just yet. We still have to carry on on getting ourselves even more coins before I'm going to be able to spend that kind of cash. But for now, let me just uh, get myself a little bit of sleep. Reset the day. And uh, keep on blowing up some more walls. Why not? Alright, there we go. Brand new day has started. First things first. Let me get some food in me. And while we're at it, I think I'm also going to get the uh, golden fishes ready for the sawmill. As we may have to go there later on as well. Uh, keep in mind, we still have to find one more mushroom over there. I think it's over there though. I'm not 100% sure, but I think it's over there. Because again, as I was saying, if I do look at the mushroom guide... Yeah, look at that. This is the one that I'm talking about. The elephant saddle. And this one has a lot of these logs. And where else can you find so many logs if not at the sawmill? So I'm pretty sure this is where we're going to be able to find these ones. Ooh. A little bit more mushroom. Look at that. Even more here. What? Look at how many mushrooms. What the heck? Is this the day where all the mushrooms spawn again? <laughs> you know what? In that case, before I'm going to jump into blowing up more walls... Let me just make my way through the campground because I have a good feeling about this. Look at that. So many mushrooms. Uh, I don't see no mushroom at the top there. This is going to be where the ranger is going to be waiting for me, so I'm not going to go for that. Yeah, look at that. Oh, another mushroom back here. There we go. Don't worry, buddy. I'm not going to fall for that now. I got some important tasks to do today. And these ones, of course, involve me uh, getting myself even more mushrooms, which in return is going to result in a lot of rat coins. Now, those mushrooms that I saw, the image in the guide, right, also shows maybe it's this logs and not the ones at the sawmill. Although I'm kind of 99% sure it's the ones at the sawmill. What the heck? Listen to the music this guy's listening to. <laughs> that is so cool. Alright, let me also check at the bottom here. Where the sturgeon is. Because this area might have some really crazy looking mushrooms for us. Fortunately, nothing over here. But, I can go ahead and try to catch me a sturgeon while we're at it. Why not? Come on, fella. Come on closer. I know you want it. I know you want it. There we go. Easy. This is the easiest way to catch the sturgeon. Just get it closer to you and then you'll be ready. Oh, wait. Can we, can we go in the water here? Oh, we couldn't go inside the water here where the sturgeon is before. And look at that. A digging hole. Ah, oh, that is epic. All right. Well, uh, we keep on discovering new things every single day. I love this game. Really love this game. Man, this game is full of surprises. And I absolutely love it when the developers are showing us some uh, sneak peeks of what's about to come. But they're not really showing us everything they're going to release, of course. They're just giving us uh, just a few hints of uh, what they're working on. And by the looks of it, they definitely, definitely worked on so much more than I thought. All right, let's keep on going then. So we know for sure that apparently today is the day where a lot of mushrooms are going to show up. Uh, so what I think I'm going to do here, I think I'm just going to grab this guy's bike. And uh, try to explore the area a little bit more. Let's see what other mushrooms we can find. Oh, look at that. We got some mushrooms on this tree over here. Thank you very much. Uh, unfortunately, we don't have any mushrooms back here, do we? No, we do not. 
In that case, what I'm going to do next, I think I'm going to make my way all the way to the top here. In the RV truck, in the RV camp. And hopefully, this is where I'm going to also find the mushrooms. Next to the uh, apple tree. All right, look at that. There's a lot of mushrooms over here as well. These ones and these ones. Oh my god, there's so many mushrooms, dudes. Are you kidding me? Look, let me just leave this behind and uh, walk it off so that we can see if there's anything behind this RV. I wish I could actually see how many mushrooms we have in our backpack and just kind of try to get an idea of how much we found. Alright, and before we uh, head on out and keep on finishing this up, let's also check out the golf course. Got nothing there. Fortunately, nothing over here. Here we go, look at that. Yeah, I know that it's kind of showing me like these ones are new, but uh, we've already gotten these ones. We've already also uh, sold them out. Which means we completed it in the, in the guides. Uh, but I know for sure there is another type of mushroom that we haven't managed to find. And it has to be around here somewhere. Ooh, look at that! Oh, we finally found these! And these ones are not that easy to find, guys. Uh, if I go into the guide right here... There we go. Oh no, never mind. These ones are one star. <laughs> so apparently these ones are not that difficult to find. I was just not lucky enough to find them. But we finally got them. There we go. The dried saddle mushroom. Awesome. We got it. Perfect. Alright, we also got these ones over here. Perfect. And look at that. Another one. Here we go. Now, this time I'm going to try to look at the prices and try to figure out what the prices are for every single one of these mushrooms. Although, it feels like uh, they're probably all going to be kind of the same. I don't want to pick you up, buddy. No! Whatever. I don't want to ride with you right now. I just want to try to keep on doing my missions. Man, let me tell you guys, today has been a very fruitful day. We have gotten so many mushrooms. Look at this, another one. Man, this is crazy. So it kind of looks like whenever you're waking up, if you are seeing a lot of mushrooms a lot around your house, that may be the day you want to start looking around for more mushrooms, as more mushrooms may have spawned in around the world, absolutely everywhere. And you may have better chances to finding all the mushrooms that you had to find previously. It absolutely definitely feels like that. Yeah, look at that. It, it's like we're finding mushrooms everywhere. Every single spot we're checking, we're finding more mushrooms, more and more mushrooms. And, yet again, more mushrooms. Are you kidding me? Alright, well, you know what, guys? Now that we got all these mushrooms, let me then uh, make my way all the way back home over here. There we go. Uh, I think I'm also going to change my outfit and at the same time we're also going to go to sleep because the Mushroom Forager is not is not going to be awake. So we're not going to be able to get any money from him. Uh, but as soon as we wake up, I'm definitely going to make my way over there. Also blow up some more walls around and uh, keep on this journey going. A brand new day has started. Now unfortunately it's very dark outside. It is raining and all, but uh... Hopefully this is not going to affect the spawn rate of the mushrooms. Alright, let's see. I mean, there are some mushrooms out there that really love it when it's raining. So, yeah, look at that. We're still getting it. We are still getting a lot of mushrooms. So, now that we opened up this path, next up I think for sure that I'm going to open up... No, I don't want to talk with them. No, I just want to jump out of my boat. Dude, you gotta get away from here. There we go. <laughs> Wait, I cannot jump on my boat. But why? Uh, well, that was weird. What's the point of this dock if I'm not able to jump on my boat then? I mean, yes, it's definitely allowing me to spawn the boats here, but still, come on. I need to be able to jump on my boat. 
All right, so next up, I know that I want to blow up this wall over here so that I can easily get to this fella and not have to keep on going through the forest. I mean, going through the forest is not that bad because we might actually find uh, some mushrooms that we didn't have. But I think I also want to sometimes come really, really fast to this fella. Is that a stick of dynamite in your pocket, in your backpack, or a scented candle of some kind? All right, buddy, blow it up. There we go. Shazam. Love it. <laughs> Alright, so we got another area opened up here, which is great. And next up, let me sell this fella the mushrooms that we collected so far. Hey, buddy, I got more. Well, hello there. Have you got any mushrooms for me? Sure thing. Alright, let's see. Sales report. 600 coins for those. 550 for these ones, 500 for these ones, 400 for these ones, 4 for these ones, uh, 3 for these ones. Man, this is way too good. Mushrooms are the way to go. Are you kidding me? We got 4,000. What? Dude. I don't ever want to stop bringing this fella the mushrooms that he wants. This is way too good. And you know what? While we're at it, let me just make my way through the forest for one last time. Uh, just to see if I can find some extra mushrooms. Alright, anyway, and apparently that did not work. We didn't really find anything. But, uh, next up, I think I'm going to make my way to this fella over here on this side. And uh, try to give this fella the dynamite so that he can open up another area for us. And I have a feeling this is now going to allow us to go... Let's see... At the lake, maybe if you blow that up, let's just try it out. Hey, pal, do you have some dynamite? Yes, I do. And yes, you can definitely borrow it. There you go. Look at that, we opened it up. Shazam. And now we're finally gonna be able to get our boats, our fast boats, at the lake. I mean, I'm pretty sure that's where that's gonna take us to, right? I hope I'm not mistaken. Let's see, let's check it out. So if I back up through here and I keep making my way all the way to the top, just like that. This one is taking us to the lake. That's what I'm talking about, dude. Oh man, this is so good. And you know what? Now that I made my way up here with the boat... <gasps> did I just found the mushrooms that we didn't have before? Yes, we absolutely did. The, oh no, never mind. These ones are the blue with mushrooms. I'm pretty sure we had these before, right? Uh, let me just check. Yeah, we definitely had these before because these ones are the mushrooms that are showing up when it's raining. That's fine. There we go. Another blue with mushroom. And another blue with mushroom. Hmm. So by the looks of it, the best way, the best place to find the blue with mushrooms are gonna be maybe in the mate area. Although I definitely found these blue with mushrooms in other locations as well, not just here. But uh, maybe this is the most common place for them because we found like three of them in one spot. Alright, and ultimately, now that we have this one, let me jump on my fast boat here. And as you guys know, we do have another river on this side that we could use right now, and we definitely couldn't use this one before. Where is this gonna take me to then? Oh my god, it's so slow! Oh, I may need the super boat to get past this. Are you kidding me? I mean, it kind of looks like this one is also doing the job. It is a little bit slower though, but it's definitely working. Man, this river is not easy. Look at this, we're really struggling. Are you kidding me? Come on, buddy, come on. Come on. Push. <laughs> I wish I had like a uh, speed boost here. That would have been really awesome. Come on. Keep on pushing, keep on pushing. 
it definitely takes a lot of work if you want to get up here but I feel like if you want to do this the best bow that you want to use is definitely gonna be the uh, super boat not to mention how difficult it is to actually keep the boat in uh, straight up in a straight line come on buddy Imagine we would have gas. We would have definitely run out of gas doing this. Man, where is this even taking me to? I feel like this path is gonna take me somewhere where there's gonna be some really um, unique locations for mushrooms. It most definitely feels like that. Come on! At the same time, I have a feeling this is where I'm going to have to do that race that we discovered in the previous episode. Uh, that I think I'm going to do in the next one. The race where you have to go with the canoe on a river. Yeah, it's probably going to be this one. Come on, buddy. Just a little longer. I feel like we're almost there. There we go. We made it. Finally. Oh, yeah, look at this! This one took us all the way to this crazy looking cave! Are you kidding me? And of course, I also see a mushroom that I absolutely want to go ahead and grab. Just because we learned that in this game, mushrooms, at least now with this latest update, mushrooms are definitely the way to go if you're trying to make a lot of money in the game. Can I please jump out of the boat? There we go. Uh, now, hold up. Did I just notice a secret all the way down here at the bottom? Or did I just imagine things? Yep, never mind. I just imagined things. That's fine. Alright, we got more mushrooms. Perfect. And ultimately, I'm definitely gonna go inside the cave here to check this out. Whoa, what the? Where is this one taking me to? Wait a minute. What is this? <gasps> you know what? Look at that. There's a hidden chest in here. Uh, let me turn on my flashlight. So what I'm seeing here is that we do have a hidden chest. Which means... Uh, hold up. Let me find the flashlight. There we go. Which of course it means we have to use this thing. The golf uh, balls. In order to maybe get a hole in one. I mean, can I get a hole in one through the dark if I maybe turn this on? Yeah, maybe that's gonna work even better. Interesting. Alright, let's try it out then. Let's see if this is gonna work. And of course, I'm gonna use the mouse because using the controller to play golf, really impossible. Really not the way to go. So if I wanna put a ball in there, it's probably gonna need to be like a hole in one, right? Nope. It's not supposed to be a hole in one. Never mind. Let's try it again. So I'm guessing what I have to do here is... Can I get it like here? Although I think I should have done it a little bit backwards. Yeah, that's way too much. Alright, let's try it again. I think I got it this time. So in order to get it inside over there... Maybe like that? Man, it's so difficult because you cannot see anything. What? Are you kidding me? How am I supposed to get that there? I wonder if there's another light somewhere around there that I haven't seen before. Is this good enough? <laughs> Man, I keep on hitting them at the exact point over there, apparently. Yeah, I definitely have to get this ball so much lower. Like, right about here. Ooh, we got it! Finally! Man, that took a lot of work. And look at that, golden bars! Wow. You know what, I feel like the devs have really got us spending in the previous uh, update. 
by purchasing all those customizations for the vehicles and everything. And now they kind of feel like they wanted to give back to us because they had us expanding so much. And it looks like that's exactly what's happening. We are getting ourselves so many more coins now back again with this latest update. And by the looks of it, there's going to be three brand new caches in the game added in this update. And I only found one, so I'm definitely going to have to go ahead and look around for more and uh, see where we can find those. But anyway guys, that being said, I hope you had a wonderful time with this latest update with Stinky Sasquatch. And when we come back in the next one, we are going to keep on exploring here, trying to find even more mushrooms. Because I really want to try to deliver all the rest of the mushrooms to the uh, Mushroom Forager, or I should say the Mushroom Hunter. Uh, so that we can get ourselves even more sticks of dynamite, maybe? I don't know. Because if you guys have seen the previous episodes, uh, there is going to be another cave on the island, the secret cave that we're going to be able to unlock. And I have a feeling we're going to be able to find another cache in there. Uh, so uh, yeah, that's definitely going to be on my to-do list next up. Alright, anyway guys, that being said, once again, thank you all very much for watching. Make sure you leave a like if you enjoyed the video and go ahead and dislike if you didn't, that's okay. And if you guys are new here to the channel have subscribed yet, go ahead and do that as I'm posting many more videos just like this one every single day and I'm pretty sure you guys are going to enjoy it. And that being said, stay safe out there and I'll see you all next one soon. Bye everybody!